yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? This is your boy Jay from Keeping It Real, your arbiter of gaming news and commentary, hitting you off with a studio production video where you know this is your channel, where all gamers' voices are heard. With your boy Jay always dropping the word, keeping them other gaming YouTubers like what you heard, and where you always know we always, always keep it all the way real. What's up YouTube? You know what time it is, the places where your gamers' voices are heard and your boy Jay is dropping that word. So what's going on everybody? Yeah man, I just wanted to do a follow-up video on the video I just did on Halo and Digital Foundry, man. So man, I wanted to address um, a commenter in my comment section by the name of Hello There. Um, he, he posed a comment to me, man, that I wanted to, I think it was important to do a video on, man, so I can explain some more of the things that I was talking about previously on, um, uh, that Halo in Digital Foundry video. So, was I really maybe wrong about, uh, Digital Foundry views? Let's talk about it. All right, man, so let's just first start out with this. All right. Now, uh, Hello There seems to believe and think that uh, Digital Foundry, man, hey, these guys are above approach. They're fair and just and, uh, you know, um, objective. You know, they just look at things from an objective point of view. And if I were to just separate my love of Halo and my biasness, I would see that for myself. So let's go ahead and get logical because he said, I guess I'm not logical. I'm looking at things from a biased point of view. So let's go ahead and look at this logically. You tell me if how do you do a, how do you make a definitive um, comment like saying something like Halo's worse? All right, now this guy Alex said this. Now you can look up Alex from Digital Foundry and look at his comments on Halo. This guy literally said it in some ways look worse than what the the um, the original reveal was. Um, and he was referring to the cinematics and, and in some cases he was referring to some of the gameplay with, when it comes to the, the look of it. Okay, so I'm just going to bust out this Infinity Bleed. Uh, there's not too many anybody who agrees with him. This game looks incredible, um, you know, in just about every way. So this is, I'm not sure what he's seeing, <laughs> but anyone who's seen the game and who has uh either played it in the, the 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 multiplayer or even even watching a campaign in the overviews that's coming out the game is beautiful so it's infinitely a beautiful game but tell me this what what organization that's pride themselves on analyzing data and making analysis on said data let's look at this logically would then make a definitive statement like a game looks worse without actually having that game in their hands that's a finished release product that with the patch so that they could analyze the exact same thing that you're actually going to be playing right you would think they would give the benefit of the doubt before they make infinitive statements like something looks worse they would actually actually analyze the game that is the finished product halo's not even out yet so how do you do that how do you make a definitive statement when you're supposed to be non-biased and supposed to be um, you know, objective. Well, you can't do that if you don't have the actual game in your hand. That's the release version and with the patch in your hand so that they can analyze the exact same thing that you're going to be playing, right? They're not doing that. This guy, Alice, is just making a, throwing a definitive statement out there. Um, and as you can see, if you look around, you'll see Forbes is running with this with Digital Foundry saying it's weird or, or it, explaining why it looks weird. I mean, but but this is the type of things you see. But this guy, hello there, wants to believe that, oh, no, they're fair and objective. I'm sorry, sir. You can't say they're fair and objective when they're making infinitive statements before they have even actually analyze the actual um, version of the game you will be playing. They're not doing it. Um, and what's interesting is they give Sony this benefit of the doubt time and time again. No problem. They, they wouldn't make any definitive statements about something before they actually had it in their hands and actually analyzed it. 
But with Xbox, this this is this. Oh, it's just free reigns for me to say whatever I want. Um, and this is the the difference. Um, and we're talking about the same digital foundry that acted like last generation 900p in 1080p meant the world of difference even though you wouldn't even be able to notice it if you were looking at the stream but to them it was a world of difference why because it was sony on the end of power that had the 1080p in some of these games so they made they they made sure they kept with the narrative that that meant everything now have you noticed this generation uh that doesn't mean anything. Resolution, you don't even hear them talking about resolution. Have you noticed when they're analyzing a PlayStation 5 version of a game that only runs in 1440p and the Xbox game that runs in 4K, they act like that doesn't even matter anymore. But, but oh, but oh, wait a minute. The Xbox version is worse because it dropped one frame in a particular cutscene. So, oh, it's, well, it's a worse version. So, you could get out of here with thinking Digital Foundry is fair and objective. Get the hell, I mean, there's so many examples. I can go on and on about these guys being biased as hell, just making reckless and um, uh, statements, stoking the console war just for their benefit. I mean, it's been over and over again, you know, that I could, countless times I can point out. So, I get it. Hello there, guy. No problem. I understand. Hey, look, I appreciate for you checking out my videos, but man, I mean, it's pretty clear. Um, anybody who knows anything about Digital Foundry, um, you see what's on the Forbes article. So, yeah, man, that's my video on that. I'm going to get out of here, man. You guys tell me what you think. I'm gone.